Tim Collins, we're coming today. I'm on the parking lot of Coleman EMS. I'm with Daniel Cummings' agent, Chris Villa. Chris, your client, three years in a row, a three-peat. He's the winner of the People's Choice Award. What can you say about this? Tim, I could say a lot. Uh, you don't have enough film. It was an outstanding experience. Number three in a row for big Sergeant Cummins here. It was an honor. Uh, the main thing is uh, the Forgotten Warrior Project. You know, what it what is supporting. Last year it was uh, Claire Bear. That's what it's about. The first responders, everybody had a good time. We ate plenty. But I gotta throw it over to my man, Big D, Sergeant Cummins. He's the one that put the effort in it. Uh, really went out of his way. And uh, we look forward to the future. Daniel Cummings, 3 Pete. I, I think somewhere in you thought this was gonna happen, but really you're surprised, aren't you? I, I really am. Three years in a row, we, we were surprised. Now, this, you've done a different bowl of chili every year. This year, you brought in the big 25-gallon stainless steel pot. I mean, I, how did you even lift that and get it in here? That was a lot of chili. It, it wasn't easy, Tim. We, uh, we try to do something different every year, and, and we did that again. We, we brought in some premium ingredients this time. And I understand you imported the uh, spices from New Mexico, right? We did. We got them straight, fresh off the plant, ground up, and, and straight here to Alabama. Now I understand your agent, uh, Mr. Villa, secured some kind of exotic beef, 80 pounds worth for this. We did. We used a, a mixture of steak and beef, about 80 pounds, and some, some really premium ingredients to fill that pot. Now, the first year, people said, well, Daniel, he's a nice guy. He won. Great. You won last year. You were a marked man. There was a lot of competition. Uh, they were gunning for you. No, nobody wanted to lose to you, but you did it. Uh, how are you going to deal with your fellow uh, public safety folks. They're going to give you a hard time. Well, there was some ribbing all day long, no doubt about that. But I challenge every one of them to come back next year and come up with something uh, that, that they can try to pull off a win. Makes sense. Well, I guess I've got to ask you the obvious question. I do this every year. I have to interview and do a cooking class with the winner. Will you have me back a third time in a row? I will. All right. Well, let's see the trophy. I'm trying to get that in focus. There it is. Gentlemen, thank you. Good luck. We'll thank see you, you in 2019. Re-elect Matt thank Gentry you, for sheriff. That is a paid political announcement by the campaign to re-elect Matt Gentry as sheriff. All right, now I'm out with our double winner today, Jared Johnson from Logan Fire and Rescue. Jared, you won director's choice again. You won it last year, and that was by James Curtis. And then I picked you this year for the hottest chili with some help from a young lady from Hansville. What is your secret? Uh, you, you may not be uh, the people's choice, but you win every year now. What, what's your secret? Uh, about 15 years of, of cooking chili, and I finally got it perfected, and it's just a lot of, lot of work, and I really enjoy it. And, and it's got to where any kind of family get together or anything at work, that's the only thing I get to bring. Nope, they don't even ask me what I want to bring. They just tell me, you're bringing chili. Well, that, that makes sense. Now, do you have any background history in the culinary arts? You work in restaurants? Or how did this come about? No, I've uh, not had any, any training. Uh, I owe a lot of credit to my father-in-law. He passed away two years ago, but he was uh, a big inspiration. He cooked all the time, and we cooked all the time together, and he was a big inspiration on uh, getting me cooking and stuff. Now, you, you nearly made me cry with the hot chili today. What, what was the secret weapon in there? What, what almost got me? <laughs> well, it had a lot of habanero in it, and it had some kind of a... Uh, Chinese chili that I have no idea what it even was. So well, you're telling me you're, you're taking chili from God knows where and feeding it to me to see if I'll crack. That's right. That's right. Well, they said they said they wanted the hottest, and I think I showed it today. You did. Now, you've got a little helper here, or a big helper, in, in Lainey. What is her role in all this? She is uh, she is my, my sous chef, I guess. She helped me get everything mixed together and got everything uh, uh stirred and all that good stuff. You guys probably me. stayed up late last night too doing Yeah, that. we stayed up to about, about 11 o'clock last night getting everything going. So, Lainey, what was your experience like? Have you enjoyed it? Mm-hmm. Let's look at your trophy. You know, what's interesting about that, if you look at it just right, that's a toilet stool. You know it? For the hottest chili. <laughs> so, will you be back next year to defend the title with your dad? Mm-hmm. Or are you just going to let her do it herself? I think I'm just going to let her do the enter it next year and I'll just help her. Makes and sense. That's what she, she helped me so much this year, I'm probably going to just, just let her do it next year. Sounds good. Well, guys, thanks for talking to me. Congratulations on the big win. Thank you.